Guys, what we're looking at here in the what are we seeing uh, for this week, I'm trying to fish the edge of a grass flat. And we're out with the grass flat where it falls off into the deeper water. If you look right here, you can see where it gets dark on the left-hand side of the screen. That is where the water gets a little bit deeper. What I've done is sped up the video, make it a little bit easier to go through and watch. But right on the edge of these grasses, you're looking for those little pockets or little isolated pieces of grass. And those bass will get right on those edges and they'll get right up by those little pieces of grass. And like you, if you look real close, you can see a lot of the fish swimming around. And all I'm doing is casting right down the edge of these grass, right down the edge of the grass. And I'm looking for these little isolated patches. Like right here in the middle of the screen is a cypress tree. Notice how there's no grass around the cypress tree. Another cypress tree right there. And all you're looking for is, you know, just that telltale sign of that fish swimming or, or a shadow. But I sped it up a little bit so we can get on through it. It's about a six and a half, seven minute video and I've condensed it down to about three minutes. And sometimes when you speed it up, you can see the fish swimming. But look at the detail of the grass. That is coontail grass. Um, and you can see each individual stalk. It's just amazing the beautiful detail of this. And you know, just going up, see how I'm going right along the edge. And that grass grows out to where it gets a little bit too deep grows out to about eight or nine foot, but you can see where that eight or nine foot starts and that's that dark edge. So it helps you follow those grass. You, you notice it's thick on the right side of the screen and then gets a little bit more isolated. And then on the left side, there's no grass at all. And that helps you follow that grass edge. And that's where perspective mode is just such a great tool because you can sneak up through here. You don't always have to see fish because these fish getting buried in that grass or right on the edge of that grass and you won't see them. And, but what you can be looking for is pockets. You can be looking for edges and you can be looking for bare spots in the grass because the fish will get in those bare spots. Now notice how it's got a lot darker right here. That means that water's done got a little bit deeper and now we've done, there's a cypress tree right here. And if you look coming in from the left side of the screen, there's some fish there and, uh, fish right in the middle of the screen you can see the shadows but we're right on the edge see how it's getting a little bit lighter the bottom is we're actually we're starting to climb that hill or back into the shallower water but if you look on the left side of the screen you see some fish i mean there's fish all in this grass and that's what you're doing you not always have to see the fish but it is cool to be able to see the fish and you know that's all you're doing is just trying to hit those little isolated pockets but this is coontail moss. I call it coontail moss. But look right in the middle of the screen. There's one, two, three, four, five fish right there in the little school. You can see them. How awesome is that? Right, But look where they're at. Right on the edge of that grass. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you have any questions or anything like that, let me know. I like to answer questions. I try to answer every comment. Guys, thanks a lot. Hit the bell.